Hi, uh, Jason White here, SVP and GM from CBS Interactive. And I'm uh, Doug Loritano, uh, SVP and GM from Media.net. And we just wrapped up the uh, future of header bidding, uh, which was, a, I think, a spirited, passionate, uh, topical event. Yep. Um, uh, we saw the representation of like the landscape of digital media. How many people would you say were on the publisher side? Uh, we probably had almost 40% of people in total attendees of around 100, I think. Yeah, so. yeah. and then uh, a decent amount of the supply side uh, ecosystem is probably there, about 30%. Um, a smaller percentage on the buy side, but we kind of expected that. Sure. Um, I think some of the, uh, the key takeaways for me um, uh, were the differences between the client side uh, and the server side header bidding. Um, and that we, we have a little bit of a ways to go uh, before there's massive adoption on the server side, but there's certainly a lot of pros yep. on the server side from a, a latency perspective and, uh, and, and from a monetization perspective, it sure. seemed like. Um, what were your thoughts on that? Yeah, definitely, um, you know, I think everybody was concerned with latency. Um, yeah. Server side tries to address a lot of that. Uh, a little bit less compromise yeah. to go along with the benefits of header yeah. bidding. Um, and I think we saw that a lot of people were really kind of interested in that and, and learning more. Yeah, and certainly there, there seemed to be you know, more of a, a hacky type um, uh, distrust, uh, uh, maybe is not the right word, but um, uh, it, it, the client side is certainly not the, the pure evolution, evolution state, yep. right? Um, and as we move into other formats like mobile, um, uh, it seemed like most of the room was interested in the server side for obvious reasons. Um, it doesn't use a lot of the user's data, it's faster, um, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, I thought one of the things that was interesting was on the buy side, there was concerns about uh, them bidding against themselves, but it seemed to me like um, a majority of the pros offset that con, and the big pro was they were able to see way more of their audience than they ever sure. were before when they were in a waterfall type setup. Yep. And yeah. they were able to compete for their high value audience right. um, when they saw them. Yeah. So uh, they weren't seeing their high value audience before. And maybe sometimes when they were, they weren't yeah. getting that impression um, because there was something else trumping them in the ad server. Yeah. And header bidding allows for them to basically get their uh, high value inventory. Yeah, that's right. And I think uh, on the publisher side, more specifically, uh, We've seen uh, time and time again, most everybody agree that um, there's much higher yields. Uh, we're seeing uh, most of the crowd on average are seeing 15, some as high as 50%. Um, so that seems to be kind of an axiom now at this point. Yep. Um, uh, there's more balance given on the publisher side of the equation. I think in the past we've kind of gone from a world where the publishers were selling these things for pennies, now they're selling them for real dollars. Yep. Um, and the buy side uh, seems to be uh, okay with that price point uh, because they're finding more of their audiences and they're able to get more distribution, so that's good. Yep. Um, I thought the, uh, the 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 last point um, that uh, uh, that was kind of made was that you know video is still kind of a work in progress. Um, I think that we still need to build the technologies out. Um, you know, embrace probably more of a server side, at least from CBSI's perspective. We stitch our ads into content, um, and it's all stitched into the server. So it seems to me like server to server is probably going to be the future sure. of uh, a video header bidding. Do you, yep. Did you feel yeah, the same? Yeah, it definitely seems that way. Yeah. Um, I, do, I do think what was an interesting theme running throughout uh, both sessions was how header bidding is kind of accelerating the evolution of programmatic right. um, and how uh, publishers are thinking about what auctions look like yep. and how they can basically allow for more buyers to compete more fairly. That's right. Um, and how that will um, drive up yield and will kind of, uh, you know, and even on the buy side talking about the uh, democratization of uh, of inventory and you know speaking to that early, our earlier point about them being able to buy their real high value inventory that all kind of changes yep. uh, in this world and I think we're yep. going to see that only only continue and accelerate I thought uh, I thought Ben had brought a, a salient point uh, up on the PMP side of the equation we've seen more PMP demand coming through uh, other exchanges um, uh, which has been great to your point it's added increased liquidity um, uh, and that's the higher value. If we want to grow anything in programmatic, it's private marketplace yep. demand, uh, which I think bodes well once we get into other formats and mobile and video specifically. 
So uh, that was pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, overall, it was a great session. Uh, there were some people that were very passionate about one side versus the other, particularly when we got into the platforms. Advertisers were very passionate about you know, not bidding against themselves, but again, it seemed like the pros uh, outweighed uh, the cons yep. uh, significantly there. So overall, it's a win-win for the industry. Definitely. So uh, Jason, Doug, uh, thanks again for your time. And Thank you. Uh, good luck out there. All right.